Hello guys, this is, I believe, the first video on YouTube about how to flash a custom ROM on this POCO F3 phone because there is no TWRP available TouchWiz recovery project for this phone so you cannot really flash a custom ROM with a TWRP you will have to use fast boot method after you unlock the phone so this phone, this very one, is already unlocked I just did it, I forgot to film the event but I will show you how to do it anyway um, you place the phone in a fast boot mode which is pressing volume down and power button at the same time and here it is then you connect a USB-C cable which I conveniently already have lying around to your computer and I will keep on recording for the next step I am proceeding to look for the Mi Unlock tool I use DuckDuckGo because I don't like Google search let's just use the first link and well uh, you follow the steps until you have this tool downloaded I obviously already have it on my computer so you start the tool you have at this point to associate both your phone and the tool to your me account um, from the phone you will follow the uh, add account path on the settings when you connect your fast booted device onto your USB port and run unlock tool by Xiaomi you will see something like this mine has already been unlocked as you can see in your case uh, it will show locked and you have the option after selecting the appropriate row to press the unlock button and it will contact the remote servers and check if you have waited at least a week that is 168 hours before actually letting you unlock which is a silly politic by Xiaomi if you ask me but that's how it is so I have patiently waited seven days after first activating this button and this morning I was finally able to unlock my device this is the Xiaomi.l forum page for the ROM dedicated to the LEF device uh, the K4E is just the Chinese name for the POCO F3 which is the international name of the phone they are the same device so the instruction found in here to flash the Xiaomi Air ROM for the POCO F3 and the K4E are exactly the same we have already downloaded and then used Mi Unlock to unlock the bootloader then we download this file and then I will show you how to follow up with instructions this is the open zip folder from the Xiaomi L forum you see there's a folder structure inside and several uh, scripts in the root for Windows, Mac OS and Linux I'm going to use Windows you will do the same for your own operating system you don't even need to manually use ADB or fastboot tools because these files will do everything by themselves as you see there's also a uh, subfolder structure with the tools themselves see there's a uh, fast boot in here so you unzip this zip in our folder and choose the corresponding script I will be running this first which uh, will clear the ROM and then flash the images for updates you will just need to run this uh, update batch which only flashes the images over the install operating system so you can keep the previous applications and configurations at this point you can just double click the file for your operating system in my case it's Windows it's the first installation my phone is already in fastboot mode and connected to the USB port yes I agree to wipe my data and internal storage the phone is brand new so I don't care okay the flashing has been done the device is rebooting and we'll see after the act is done I will detail the uh, 
installation of Magisk uh, to get root on your phone, which is maybe why you are doing all of this. Uh, from the same first page of the uh, thread explaining the installation of the Xiaomi.u ROM on the Pogwaf tree, you will see a link if you look for Magisk in the first page. This guy asks how to install Magisk and Pony70 kindly replies to uh, explain that there's a link where he details the installation and here it is. So uh, I will make it short and then demonstrate it. You get the boot EMG file from the images folder. This is the one. You copy it over to your phone after you have booted it into Xiaomi.u. You install the Magisk APK. You have the application patch the boot.emg image so you can then copy over the patched boot image to your PC and use fastboot to flash the boot image back on the phone. That way uh, the next reboot will have the uh, Magisk installed on the phone itself.